And there seems to be this link that James himself made explicit, that there was a belief that witches and spirits travelled through the air. Wherever the air flowed, then a witch could enter a building. Now, you can shut your window, you can shut your door, but you cannot block up your fireplace. And these are the three places where we find apotropaic symbols in association with doors and windows and fireplaces. Um, there is this idea of the witch bottle, of course. Sometimes these are buried. They contain iron and maybe urine and, and, and scraps of artefacts, and they're buried underneath the threshold of the door. Again, it's the same idea of protecting the household against the penetration and possession by evil forces. And I've already mentioned the shoes shoved up the chimney, but just to give you a little bit of a folkloric insight into this, there is this idea of the window peeper. He's one of the Yule lads in Iceland. These are their gift bringers at Christmas. There's 13 of them, and they all have these quite sinister attributes. Well, one of them is the window peeper, and he peers in through the windows and scares children. And the way that they ward him off is by putting a shoe on the window place, and that kind of calms him down, and he leaves sweets for the children. And, and this happens on 13 separate nights in the lead up to Christmas. And there seems to be this, this very turned around tradition whereby there is this idea of the possession of a building by a spirit who's coming in through the window or, or down the chimney in the case of this fellow. Remember, this, <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this is effectively a spirit coming down the chimney. And you, ward, you, you don't necessarily ward him off, but you appease him by hanging the stocking on the mantelpiece. It's the same tradition. It's turned around and it's twisted and it's been altered and Christianized. But this is that same apotropaic function of dealing with the spirit coming down the chimney. So next time you actually hang up your children's stockings, you are engaging in thousands of years of history. And I'm sure you've all thrown salt over the shoulder or touched wood. I have a horseshoe hang, hung over my back door. You know, these are all things that we still do that fulfill these functions. And just in case you don't believe me, here's an early 17th century illustration of a very weird coven going on. It's a German illustration. You can see the witch coming down the chimney here. You can also see that the occupants of the house have actually marked up their hearth. There it is blown up. And there is the VV, the Virgo Virginum, invoking the protection of Mary. But it's been scored through, and that's cancelled out the apotropaic function, and therefore the witch can actually enter the building. And there it is in a 17th century illustration. 